Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, King Epic here, and today I'm bringing you a brand new video. I'm going to be talking about the Aerial class. Now, this class does have different versions of them due to, you know, the multiple eras. So I'm going to be talking mainly about the Blasters and also the ability, uh, the boost cards. But the boost cards are really the same, and the Jetpack Boost and the Jetpack Dash are really all the same. It's more or less uh, the special ability that's different. So this video might not be that long because I only have to talk about a few cards, and then I, um... What is it? I only need to talk about really the special ability and the blasters. So uh, that's really about it. Um, but don't forget to follow me on Twitter at King Epic Gaming, and also follow my Instagram at King Epic Gaming. It would really help me out a lot. But anyways, let's get right into the boost cards. Uh, currently, I only have two because I don't have my aerial at level ten. So I would have three cards at level ten. But uh, I'll be getting there as soon as I'm able to get uh, Finn and Phasma on the thirteenth. So. Let's get right into it. We're going to go over the two cards that I'm currently using, Battle Hardened and Aerial Training. So Battle Hardened, of course, gives you that maximum health increase. I believe your health uh, currently is only at 250 for a uh, Jump Trooper, so or, you know, Jump Trooper, Rocket Trooper. Um, so it's not that much, uh, but I think the maximum health increase could really help you out because 250 health is, is decent. It's, uh, I think, 50 more HP than the Heavy Trooper. And the heavy trooper is pretty, you know, it takes a little while to, to actually kill them. But at least if you're a rocket trooper or a jump trooper, you definitely want to have a good amount of health uh, to actually stay in the fight. Especially when you're in those close quarter combats. Because as the rocket trooper, you really just get into the combat. You try and fly in and then fly out. So um, this card is definitely good if, you know, you want that health increase. And I personally love that health increase. So, yeah. Uh, now we're going to go over aerial training. Everybody knows how I feel about these cards. Uh, gain a small amount of health for each defeated enemy. Everybody knows I love this card. This card helps you out so much and actually could save you in so many gunfights. Um, personally, it's it's a it's a main card that I, I love. And I'm so glad I actually got this card out of a crate. Cause so I was able to equip this card and it just helped me out so much with the rocket or jump trooper or whatever you want to call them. Um, it helped me out so much with actually staying in the fight, um, getting into those dangerous scenarios, and actually being able to still stay alive and kill multiple people. Now, these three cards, they're decent, but, you know, like I said, you already got those two cards. Now, the third card I would actually choose to have would actually be... I wouldn't want this card, because it's, it's alright. It's like the rocket launcher, you, you more or less use your blaster more than the rocket launcher, especially since the rocket launcher is... Uh, it doesn't have as much of a damage. You actually have to really hit them or just hit right where they're at. Or else you won't actually kill the people. It's it's really annoying. I They reduced the rocket launcher so much from the beta. Um, so yeah, the this, this card, I would really not use it. I would rock, not recommend this card that much. Um, the improved jetpack, jetpack abilities, recharge faster. This is a good card um, that I would have because, you know, you're always using jetpack. You're always flying around here and there. But the four second uh, reduction, mm, it's kind of like the jetpacks already, you know, they already have a good amount of uh, like reduction to them. They're there. You go always fly around. It doesn't take that long for your jetpacks to actually uh, boost back. So this card, I feel like is not really that necessary. And this is where I come to the, my survivalist card. Uh, this is the survivalist card where basically at even level three, you have a 79 HP uh, recovery per second. That's that's insane. So. I would definitely use this card second, or I mean third, and just have a, car, a card class of Mac, a Battle Hardened, Survivalist, and Aerial Training. I think those three cards would probably be the best for Aerial. So if you're um, Aerial's level 10, definitely equip these cards and start leveling them up. If you actually use the Jump Trooper, Rocket Trooper, um, you know, B2 Battle Joy, whatever. Um, if you use those, then definitely have these three cards. They, they will help you out a lot. Now we're going to go over the abilities. So we're going to be talking about, first off, the ro ro <laughs> the Clone Trooper. So the Clone Trooper Jetpack, um, basically the Jetpack Boost and the Jetpack Dash. So the Jetpack Boost Burst Thrusters are used to uh, boost the aerial upwards, well suited for tra uh, traversing <laughs> obstacles <laughs> and evading danger. I'm sorry. Um, so basically, you could just fly up. On the on the jetpack dash, you could basically fly to the left, to the right, and sometimes diagonal. Kind of, I don't know. Sometimes you could do it. You can actually do it. Uh, you can use the jetpack dash and j jump forward, and you can also jetpack backwards. So it's jetpack dash is, is a really good car, um, a really good ability. 
if you're in one of those dangerous scenarios and you're like, oh snap, I got a jetpack backwards or I got a jetpack like to the side or something like that, this card would really help you out a lot. Also, if you guys did not know, if you double tap circle um, when you're running, you actually jetpack a little bit. It's like a little, uh, it's a little thrust that it does and it thrusts you a little bit forward or backwards and anything. It can actually help you out a lot rather than actually using your abilities, especially if your abilities on cooldowns, you just double tap circle, bam, bam, and you're able to go backwards, forwards to the side and everything without having to use your jetpack dash or your jetpack boost. Now we're gonna go over the special ability, the rocket launcher. So the rocket launcher is standard for most of the jet uh, troopers and it's a simple rocket launcher, but like I said, they did reduce the damage on this. So you really need to be uh, really accurate with the with the rocket launcher because of the fact that even if you hit them like two or three meter, like two or three feet from them, you probably won't kill them. That's how like I feel like the the rocket launcher actually does need a buff or something because it's just the fact that sometimes you hit like you basically are so close to hitting them and they just still they barely go go out without a scratch. It's crazy. So I think this does need a buff, but um, personally, like I said, the rocket launcher is still good in case you're able, you could like shoot someone from far or anything. You can still get kills with this. It's 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 a decent uh, special ability for the jet trooper. But personally, I love the I love using the blaster more. Now for the clone trooper, I love his DC. He has a DC 17. It's the uh, standard officer pistol, and he uses it on this on on his. You know kit and it's just so strong actually like i feel like i kill people in like two to three shots from this blaster rather than you know with the officer it takes a little bit more shots but of course they do a little boost for the jet trooper and boom like i, I people have seen me i've killed like four or five people just from uh without even having to overheat so this blaster is really good for the jet trooper i love this is one of my favorite jet troopers um and that's really about it for him he's awesome he looks cool but yeah his blaster really makes him what he is because that DC-17 is so strong, it's it takes down droids super fast. Now we're going to go over the B-2 RP rocket droid. So basically he has his wrist rocket. Like I said, the wrist rocket as well. Um, it's kind of like the super battle droid. But the wrist rocket, like I said, you need to be very accurate. Because you can't just shoot it and just hit them a little bit. Uh, like hit a few feet off of them. Because you won't be getting the kills. You more or less just be doing player damage. So try and be accurate with the wrist rocket. And he does use his standard blaster. So I don't know what, what's the blaster arm. But... Basically, it's it's the same thing like the B2 Super Battle Droid, but, you know, he's a rocket droid now, so he gets to fly around. <laughs> and you can also do the same thing with the thrusters, where you could go back, forward. All of them, you could go back, forward, side, and everything with double tapping circle. Now we're going to go over the Rocket Trooper for the First Order. He uses the SE44C. Everybody knows how I feel about that blaster. The only thing is it's not modified, so you don't have um, improved cooling and rapid fire so it does shoot at its regular like unmodified weapon so it's decent blaster but for some reason i can't get as much kills with it but still it's a decent blaster but i really prefer using the enforcer with the flamethrower for the first order because everybody knows how i feel about the flamethrower the flamethrower is amazing now we're going to go over the imperial rocket trooper the rocket trooper uses the rtc from the first game and also, the RTC is standard for uh, heavies uh, for the Imperials. But honestly, the RTC is really good. Um, it doesn't overheat as fast as I think. And personally, it's a really good... It's a, I, I love using the Rocket Trooper. The only thing is I love using the Death Trooper as well. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm in between a rock and a hard place. So, um, you know, the RTC is really good. It doesn't overheat as much. And he has the Rocket uh, Launcher as well. So, you know, it's basically a standard Rocket Trooper. Then we go over the rocket jumper. So the rocket jumper is the resist. Oh no, this is the rebels. This is the rebels uh, rocket jumper. So basically, she uses the A280. Uh, everybody knows how I feel about the A280. It's kind of trash in my opinion. You know, people use it and they do really well with it, but I just really don't like the A280. Um, that's why whenever I'm playing as the rebels, I really don't use the rocket jumper as much, and I don't even use the Wookiee warrior as much because you know I said the Wookiee warrior is OP and I don't use OP stuff in this game. Um, yeah, the A280 is used for the rocket jumper for the rebels. Uh, like I said, uh, the A280 is an alright gun, but if you're really good with the rocket jumper and you're really good with the A280, then definitely continue to buy the rocket jumper. I believe she's only like what 2,000 battle points, so definitely always buy her if you're really good with the A280. 
Now, last but not least, we're going into the rocket jumper for the resistance. So she's using the EL16HFE. Um, it's without the mods though, so not reduced recoil and not, um, I believe, uh, long extended range. So, you know, be careful because whenever you're using her, you're going to be having a way higher recoil and you're not going to be having that long range that you could do with it. However, the gun is still good. You can actually get a lot of kills with this gun. But whenever I'm using the resistance, um, I tend to always go for, you know, the, the heroes rather than the rocket jumper because, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'd rather use the EL-16 HFE on my assault that has modifiers, than, uh, modifiers rather than using the rocket jumper and having an EL-16 that, you know, shoots up into the sky, not shoots up into the sky, but you know what I mean, shoots up like above the head 24-7 and it's actually really annoying. Um, but I've seen actually people reuse the rocket jumper for the resistance really well. So, you know, don't get discouraged if you like using the EL-16, even though it doesn't have any mods. And definitely go for the rocket jumper for the resistance. And that is about it, guys. I told you guys it was a short video. Um, you know, there's nothing really else about <laughs> the rocket jumper I can really let you guys know. Other than actually when I do gameplay video of showing you how to really use these uh, classes. Now, next, I'm going to be talking about heroes. Heroes, um, I'm going to be looking at the cards first. I'm really going to have to go in-depth on these heroes because of the fact that, you know, I want to let you guys know which cards are really the best for the heroes to really use because I don't want to give you guys wrong information. You, you like, you upgrade these cards, and then you're just like, okay, the hero just doesn't feel any better. Like, you didn't give me any good advice on these cards. So, the hero guides might take a little while. Um, so I might just start doing like gameplay or even reviews or something like that. So, you know, stay tuned in for that. But anyways, guys, I'm thankful for you guys watching the video. Um, if this did help you out, let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really help me out. We're about to hit 1600. So hopefully tonight we can actually hit 1600. But I'll see you guys later. I'm going to be streaming in a couple minutes. So hope you enjoy the video. And um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Never gonna say goodbye, no.